It's Brian Wilson alongside Larry O'Connor. And we have been discussing over the past week the question of the Washington Redskins name and whether it should be changed. Of course, this is an ongoing discussion. It's been going on for years here in the area. But the President of the United States actually chimed in. Uh, Cynically speaking, you could say that he was trying to change the subject from a losing political equation with regard to his refusal to negotiate with Republicans. Be that as it may, it is back as a daily topic here in Washington, and we were shocked, surprised, and dumbfounded. Yes, we were. To hear that our two regular guests, uh, fan favorites of Mornings on the Mall, Lanny Davis and Joe DeGeneva, they have very different views on this, but what's shocking is that they come from this from a pretty unorthodox position considering their political leanings. I introduce you now to this Crossfire debate live in studio from the right... In favor of Dan Snyder keeping the Redskins name for the Washington Redskins, uber liberal, crazy lefty, Clinton White House counsel, Lanny Davis. <laughs> Lanny, thanks for being here. Here, here. <laughs> I'm going to ruin this whole debate by saying I love Joe DeGeneva. You love Joe DeGeneva. Even when he's totally wrong. That, I love him. We have an announcement to make. Start. And, and, <laughs> and starting, <laughs> start, well, it's, it's legal now. Uh, starting, and, and now from the left, may I introduce that crazy liberal, excuse me, crazy conservative far right winger, way off on the boondocks to the right of Attila the Hun, but against Dan Snyder keeping the name Redskins, Joe DeGeneva. Joe, well, thank you for being here. With conviction, may I add, Brian and Larry, thank you for the invitation. And Lanny, great to be with you. I think he has the offensive, doesn't he? He wants to keep the name. Should he go first? Well, we'll let him go first. Uh, Lanny, what is the case for Dan Snyder keeping the name Redskins, considering there are many people who believe that this is, in fact, a racial slur? I think my friend Joe DeGeneva just called me offensive, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Uh, look, uh, I'm a Redskins fan. It's not just that I represent uh, Dan and the Redskins as a client. I've been a Redskins fan for 30 years. I love the Redskins. I sing Hail to the Redskins. It's an 81-year-old name. It was initially a name after Boston Braves became the Boston Redskins, and the first coach was a Native American Lone Star Deets. And this is not about any intention to disparage or disrespect uh, the Native American population. And in fact, if you look at the Cleveland Indians, the word Indian is offensive. If you ask any, we say Native Americans on this program, because when Columbus came here, he thought he was in India. And Native Americans are offended by the word Indians, but we're not talking about the Cleveland Indians or the Atlanta Braves tomahawk chop. For some reason, an 81-year-old tradition, when we sing Hail to the Redskins, we're honoring the name Redskins. We are not disparaging. We are respecting Native Americans, and that's why I favor Hail to the Redskins, Redskins Nation. We love our team. Now, Joe DeGeneva, you surprised us when you said you had an alternate vision of this. You have a, a, a different perspective, one that we didn't see coming. So your chance to explain why you think the name should be changed. Okay. Um, as a result of dealing with American Native American tribes over a number of years, we, my wife and I and our firm have developed a new respect, a newfound respect uh, for the American, the Native Americans. But let me begin this by saying I, 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 I certainly respect uh, the de- uh, Lanny. Lanny's position, but here's the definition of Redskins from the American Heritage College Dictionary latest edition. Redskins, noun, offensive slang, used as a disparaging term for Native Americans. That is a fact. That's the way it is. Whether white people like it or not, or black people like it, American Indians and Native Americans believe that the term is offensive. And a 10-year-old poll that Snyder trots out is of no moment to me. Let's put it this way. Do you think when the NFL meets with the Native Americans on the 22nd of November. They are going to begin the meeting by saying, I want to welcome all you Redskins to this meeting. The answer is they will never use that word. Dan Snyder would never use that word in a meeting with them. And let me tell you something about heritage and tradition. Amos and Andy was a heritage and tradition. And it stopped because black people got sick of it. 
It was a disgusting, disparaging use of African-American images. This is about images. It's about images. It's about names. It's about the feelings and the wants of Native Americans. It has nothing to do with Dan Snyder's phony history of the use of the word oh, Redskins. All right. Uh, the, and, Lenny, uh, we, we want to join in here in the debate as well. Let me just quickly challenge you on this, Joe. Are you, Please do. Are you saying that any team across the guy because it's really easy to go after Dan Snyder and his gajillions of dollars and the high profile very very popular washington redskins should every team high school level elementary school level uh, change the name if they're called the redskins right now nationwide oh, I, I have no problem saying that, okay. that is exactly the case because it's about the name there it's is not about geography in the state of washington there is a high school I on understand. a on an indian reservation 91 percent of the people in that school are native american and they are called the redskins and they wear it with pride I how, think, you, how I, is it possible that they wear a slur with yeah, pride? I, I think it's great and i'm sure that dan snyder has an amos and andy collection at no. home at oh. Oh, but no, he doesn't, not, but no, he doesn't not, show I, I'd like to, but... Yeah, just play, really Lanny, quick. you do need, you need to get in here and, and give you some more time. But, I mean, there are people who look at this and they say, it is completely offensive. Jim Vance over at Channel 4 has said, you know, this is akin to using the N-word. So what do you say to those people? So, so let me have a couple of uh, factual rebuttals. First of all, I respect... <laughs> anybody's feelings whether it's Jim Vance or a Native American or anybody who's offended and that's an unfortunate and what we and Dan Snyder respects those feelings and is sorry that we're offending anyone but the fact is that the word Redskins describing somebody's skin is offensive and that's the definition but if you say is the name of a sports team where people are singing hail to the football team Redskins. There's no definition of a football team Washington Redskins that says offensive, just as there isn't when the tomahawk chop occurs in the Atlanta Braves, yeah. and I hear that hymn or that chant, it irritates me as a Washington Nationals fan. It certainly could be offensive to Native Americans, but it's not about intending to offend anyone. It's about a sports team, and that's why the people without uh, any question, 9 out of 10 in 2004 is a reflection of what you're going to hear from the Virginia tribal leaders today. Every one of them say, we're Redskins fans. It's about a team, not a skin color. All right. It, it, we're going we're gonna to engage right there. Joe, you get the next word. We do want to uh, break for traffic. And we are going to take your calls. We want you all to chime in on this, 888-630-9625. When we come back, we're going to go Lincoln-Douglas on you. You yeah. two just go back and forth. That's right. By the way, Lanny, Lincoln, uh, the good guy in that debate, he was a Republican, <laughs> just so you know. I just wanted to make sure. Oh, you recognize that. Uh, we will continue with Joe DeGeneva from the left, Lanny Davis from the right, debating whether the Redskins should keep their name. Now, it's mornings on the mall crossfire. In the crossfire, on the right, Lanny Davis. And on the left, Joe DeGeneva. Now, crossfire. <laughs> Joe DeGemda wants the Washington football team to change their name from that offensive Redskins to something, you know, something stupid like the Red Hawks. And meanwhile, Lanny Davis, he says, hey, Dan Snyder, he's a private owner. This is America. He should be able to keep the name of the team. We're going Lincoln Douglas now. Joe, uh, you're up. I'm going to go back to the original statement. The National Football League will not begin the meeting with the Oneida tribe by saying, we want to welcome you Redskins. And the reason they won't is because they know they know deep in their hearts that no matter what the so-called tradition of the Washington Redskins football team is, it is an offensive term so defined by the American Heritage College Dictionary. This is about a group, Native Americans, that are viewed as powerless and politically unimportant. That's why you're able to get away with this. And I don't blame, by the way, the Washington, Dan Snyder. He inherited the name. It's a product. He's trying to sell it. But there comes a time, just as there did with Amos and Andy, when something has to stop. And this is it. This is the time. And Dan Snyder could be a hero if he wanted to be. He could take the big step. He could do the right thing. But he just doesn't want to do it because it's about money. And it's a powerless, politically unimportant group, Native Americans. Lenny? Well, first of all, Joe, the name Washington Redskins and Cleveland Indians, if you asked Native Americans which offends them more being called an Indian or a team name Washington Redskins, the data shows that Washington Redskins in the definition of a team name does not offend most Native Americans. Take a look at the Richmond Times interviews of every Virginia tribal leader in our area. They say they're honored 
to be set, part of a song that says Hail to the Redskins. Having said that, Joe, I completely respect what you're saying. I don't believe kind of. if any... No, I do. If any, <laughs> anybody whose feelings are offended, I'm a member of, a, of an ethnic group that at times has been used in a pejorative uh, fashion. What, as lawyers? A, as a Jewish... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, as lawyers. a Jewish person. <laughs> yeah. uh, so anybody who's offended would deeply uh, regret that, but I do believe that if you look at the population... And ask, you said, a 2004 poll is the only Annenberg Institute national statistically significant sample of Native Americans across the country, 9 out of 10. And all the anecdotal evidence since then in 2013, the Associated Pestica National Poll, 79% of all Americans are not offended. And in Virginia, if you... Talk to the Native American tribal leaders, they will say, hail to the Redskins, we're honored by that name, just as the, the kids out in Washington are honored by the name. So while I, ta I take your point that there are people offended, it, to me, it's not about the name as a color of somebody's skin. It's about the name of a football team that's 81 years of tradition. Quick, quick rejoinder, Joe, but I, I do want you to address one specific thing. It seems the Native Americans from the area here are in favor of it. You represent uh, Indian uh, Native Americans from up in you know New York and Vermont. I yeah. mean, doesn't Why is it, it their mean something that the locals... I am perfectly happy to have this decided by Native Americans. They can have a plebiscite, whatever they want to do. But my point is simply this. This is a politically unimportant and powerless group. That's why this happens. And the answer is, Lanny, you made a very good point. Politically powerful interests in ethnic groups like Italians, Irish, Polish, Mexicans, blacks, and Jews would never have a team named after them based on their skin color. For example, Chinese. If you had a team called the Yellow Skins or the Brown Skins for Mexicans, let me tell you something. The name would be changed in a New York minute. We're going to take a break. Come back and continue the Lincoln's, Lincoln Douglas style debate. Don't go anywhere. Right now, time for a commercial break. Now, it's mornings on the mall crossfire. In the crossfire, on the right, Lanny Davis. And on the left, Joe DeGeneva. Go figure. Now, crossfire. Well, they're in studio. It's been an epic debate, a throwdown for the ages, and, and both men taking rather unexpected positions. Joe DeGeneva, Lanny Davis, thank you for being here. But Larry, I think, has a really great question. Well, yeah, my understanding is Oklahoma, the name of the state Oklahoma, and you know, uh, Joe and Lanny, that Oklahoma has the highest percentage of Native Americans living in that state than any other state in the country. The actual name Oklahoma is, a, is an Indian word or Native American word from one of the tribes there. I think it's the Choctaw tribe. It means red people. So should we change the name of the state of Oklahoma? Is that offensive, Joe DeGeneva? Not at all. Not at all. That's a choice that the people of Oklahoma have made in Scots. I have, I have no problem with that. The question is, American, Native Americans are objecting to the name and the way it's being used by the Washington Redskins football team. And I'm, I'm just reporting what, what the facts are. Lanny, and the, you sense a double standard And the facts here. are here. The American, the, the, the dictionary defines it as offensive slang. Well, look, Joe, on the one hand, you can't dismiss polling data that shows that most Native Americans do not take offense and then saying uh, as if most do. I do agree some do, and the question is, is it uh, in the context of how it's used intended to be disparaging? But uh, going to the logo, there's a... Uh, yeah, there, there is some discussion the, the, that the logo, many Native Americans who also find the name offensive, they think so that the logo is offensive. Lanny, what's the origin of that? The, the great and I think legendary uh, coach George Allen, whose son now is Bruce Allen running the Washington Redskins in the 1970s consulted with and was very involved with the St. Cloud tribe of South Dakota consulted with them about the logo and the St. Cloud Cloud Tribe helped design the logo that you now see on every helmet and really Joe if you would take the time and I'm not saying that your uh, personal feelings on this are wrong I honestly do respect everyone who takes offense to this name but if you were to talk, you might change your mind to the Virginia tribal leaders about how they feel. And they're in the newspapers and quoted uh, in the Richmond Times and on Sirius Radio. They are proud of the name Washington Redskins because it's in the context of a team. They love the team. And they say, let's get housing and the elderly and, and alcoholism and unemployment. Much bigger priority. Much bigger yeah. priority. Well, before we go, can I just get yeah. one thing? Listen, Lanny, i got to ask you. Sure. Based on what you know about Daniel Snyder, 
Yes. Do you ever imagine that he will consider rechanging his? Because we never thought that even the NFL would would be willing to have a conversation about this. Is the tide turning? I do not believe the tide is turning among Redskins fans. We didn't talk about everybody listening who's a Redskins fan, and they count as well. There are 95% saying don't change. He will not change. And given the 81-year, uh, I would certainly urge him not to. So I, wanna, I, want, I want the NFL at the meeting they're having on November the 22nd <laughs> with the Native Americans to begin the meeting by saying, I want to welcome all you Redskins. Would you Hail go, to would, the Redskins is the way they I should want be. Joe DeGeneva, I, would you go to into a bar in the, the deepest heart of Dublin and say, look at all these fighting Irish in oh, here? It, it, fighting <laughs> Irish is not a bad thing. Oh, because you're not Irish. Wait a minute. And, and, uh, uh, My uh, wife is. <laughs> hold on. A Catholic friend of mine takes offense to New Orleans Saints. He says the Pope named Saints. That's right. That may be offensive to a Catholic. Right. I so can't wait for that meeting on November 20th. 22nd when the NFL representative right. says welcome to all you Redskins. We're going to have to end it, it there. It ain't going to happen. Can I get yeah. both of you to come back next week? We'll have a similar debate over Hillary's involvement in Benghazi. Yeah, there we go. You're I ready to come that. in for that? I, I can absolutely. What difference does it make? <laughs> right. and, and out of context, Mr. DeGeneva will sometimes say things that are wrong, but I still love him, even yeah. though he's completely we wrong it. about that. We got to 